Hey everyone, welcome up, welcome into One Up One Down from home. This is uh, this is my studio at home, and, and check out who's so nice to join me here today. Of course, the head coach of the Villanova Wildcats, Jay Wright. Thank you so much for taking a, a few minutes. Before we get started, how, how are you and your family doing during this whole time? Everybody's great, Shannon. Thank you. And uh, uh, we, we're at home here. I got a nice background. This is the real thing, but <laughs> I'm, I'm home. And uh, uh, we have, uh, w my wife and I are empty nesters. So we've got all three kids home, plus two girlfriends, two dogs and a cat. So the place is rocking. I, uh, as, as I feel bad for everyone, you know, there's a lot of people suffering through this time and a lot of people out there working, healthcare workers and nurses and doctors and everybody as, as we've all, you know, given our thanks to, but um, just in our little lockdown, we're doing our piece and just trying to stay locked in here and everybody's doing okay. Thanks for asking. Yeah, so empty nesters, right? You have the whole family, which is why you've had to get out and get a little space and, and get on campus for a few minutes. <laughs> exactly, man, <laughs> exactly. I've never actually seen the campus when it's not, you know, 30 <laughs> degrees, 20 degrees. Normally when I'm there, it's, it's January or you're February. Right, you're right. It, it, you just catch a couple of bad days. This, this is what it looks like every day. It's a beautiful day beautiful. in Villanova every day. So everyone is so starved for sports right now, and particularly this time of the year, college basketball. The 2016 National Championship was on the other day. Did you happen to catch it? I did, man. I, you know... I never watch any of those old games ever. Like if, if I had time to watch, I'm always watching ahead, you know, for something that can happen, help us the next year or the next game. And during this time, I've been able to watch these games. And really, it was the first time we all sat down as a family with everybody together, everybody's home. We got pizza. We, it was like a party. And it was so cool because I saw so many things I, that I never saw being there and playing. And, um, you know, we rewound some stuff to see where everybody in the family was sitting and reactions to different things. Uh, we, we, had a, we had a really good time watching it. Like what? What are some of the things that stood out to well, you? Like I never knew. I didn't know Michael Jordan was interviewed during the game. I didn't, I didn't know they kept showing him in the stands. I, didn't, I, um, I had a, a good friend of mine from Long Island who's a High school coach, friend of Rolling Massimino's, was sitting right behind North Carolina's bench. I didn't know that. I had seen Coach Massimino, Mike Fratello, Tom Picora, our old assistant, Eddie Pinckney, Kyle Lowry, right behind our bench, watching their reactions. We had a lot of fun as a staff when, um, you, know, with, you know, our family knows the staff well. When certain guys made certain mistakes, you replay and watch the assistants on the bench go crazy. And... You know, just everybody's reactions during the game, we, we had a lot of fun with. I was actually sitting behind the Carolina bench at that game. I was covering that yeah. game. The reaction was a little bit different <laughs> when, when Chris hit that shot than it was over on Villanova side. And I, I interviewed you for the very first time after that game. And you just mentioned kind of always looking ahead. And I don't know if you remember this, but you were holding the box sheet in your hands. And I, and I thought it was so interesting that you had just won the biggest game <laughs> ever and, and you're looking at like how many points you got in the paint but that was exactly that that's a coach's mentality right yeah, there Yeah, you're in you're in such a um you're in such a different mindset at that time and you know you asked me about the 16 game you know I've watched um I, the only time I've watched the game and, and you know I'd seen my response because people would play it and say what were you thinking and I, but for some reason that time watching it with my family all around me I look like such an ogre, like such a, you know, an unappreciative, but I know what I was thinking at the time. I, I was still in that coach's mindset, like, Hey, I'm proud of the guys. They came out with a great attitude after we'd made a lot of mistakes on the timeout, whatever they do here, I'm going to be good. I'm good with it. I'm going to, you know, we might be going into overtime and the shot goes in, you know, I was really thinking like, are we, are we really worthy of this? You know? And then by the time I could, React, Roy Williams was right there. So I looked like such an ogre. Trust me, I celebrated and had a good time at after that. I didn't I, I didn't stay that stoic during the whole during the whole time. An ogre in a designer suit, no <laughs> less, right? Yeah. <laughs> Does Chris Jenkins ever buy a drink when he's in town no, or ever buy no, a meal when he's no, in town? He Never. Is, he is a rock star on our campus. Any 
he had an, he was playing and he had an injury, so he came back and joined our staff this year. It was so cool to have him with us because you know anything we did, people wanted to see him. And even if I had to do some media event, if I was busy, I could say, "I'll send Chris Jenkins," and they'd be like, "Oh, cool." Like we'd rather have him than you anyway. So he was, it was really valuable having him around. That's not true. I know you're a rock star on that campus as well. What's the one thing that fans want to talk to you about when they see you on the street or out at dinner? Well, I'm, I'm starting to come to grips in Philadelphia with um, people say thank you. They say thank you for the championships. And, you know, for la last couple of years, I've been kind of thinking like, all right, they're just, you know, they're just saying great game, great. But I'm starting to realize now, like, they count those championships as a part of the Philadelphia history, like the Eagles and the Phillies. And, and they just, they, they, they're thanking you for the enjoyment of it, you know, and um, that happens a lot. And it's, I, I'm starting to get it. I get it now. It's pretty cool. We will get back to playing sports and, and certainly back to basketball very soon. What are you and your family doing during this time? Um, we are enjoying the time together. We, you know, we, we really are. Um, so my, my, my sons and their girlfriends, they all, they all have jobs. So during the day, we're all spread out all over the house. I'm in my office at home right now, as I said, even though we have this nice background. But we're all <laughs> spread out and kind of working during the day. We'll like, we do have a place to work out here at our house. So we, like, we run into each other, workout times. We'll do some yoga together. Different people will do different workouts together. And then we're all... You're a Peloton guy oh, too, right? Peloton. I, I yeah. You told me the story about you losing oh. a, a game and jumping on your Peloton yeah. to kind of forget about everything and what yeah. happened. And <laughs> I got, we lost in the second round to NC State. And I thought, I'll get on the Peloton bike and I'll do this workout <laughs> and no one here will even be thinking about it. I'll get into my own world. And I'm, I'm blanking on her name right now. So, uh, Robin, Robin, yes. Robin yeah. <laughs> says, well, we're going to start our ride today and we'll take our minds off everything because Villanova is out of the tournament. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, I can't believe that's what – and I found out later she's a Villanova Law School alum, but that it's still a place for me. It's a great place for me. You get on that bike, great music, and you're just working. I love that. So we have to take time turns here on our Peloton. And then every, we're taking turns making dinner, so everybody's making dinner you know, and we're all eating dinner together like a normal family um, mm -hmm. and then playing games at night or, or uh, going for walks together and, or watching a movie. It's pretty basic, but it's, it's pretty cool. I think we're all enjoying it. Yeah, Coach, I did read that you said, I'm really trying to test myself on what else there is inside me besides basketball. What does that mean? It's, you know, my wife says that to me all the time. And um, the, the longer I've been in this business, she always says that to me. She's like, you know, like the Jay I married, like there was a lot more to you. You know, it wasn't basketball 24 seven. And I would hear her and I would know she's right. But, you know, I admit that, you know, everything that happens to me and everything I see, I, I relate it back to how does it help our team? How does it help somebody on our team? How does this relate to Colin Gillespie? Or how does this relate to Sadiq Bay? And, so it probably does dominate my time more than it should. But so I'm really forcing myself now to see, um, okay, even though some of those things come to my mind, let, let's look at things and see how it affects other things in the world, like our Villanova nurses. You know, what, what can we do to help? Villanova has a great nursing school and all these, these great stories about what the Villanova nurses are doing out there and, and what the first responders are doing how can I think about them and try to help them and be a better father and a better husband and brother and son and which is what I should be doing all the time but I just I get caught up and too competitive so it has been enlightening for me congratulations on Sadiq by the way and and when you talk about your players, right? I, I cover college football, college basketball, and I just feel like basketball is, is so much more unique. The bond is so much special because there's so much, so many fewer players, right? The, the intimacy of it. So how are you staying connected with your guys? Many of whom only have had basketball in their lives as sort of their central focus point for so many years. I bring up a lot of good points there, Shane. Like, 
I marvel at football coaches, especially head coaches, how they can, they've got so many guys and, and, and it feels, seems like they know each guy. You know, for us, we, we really only have 11 on scholarship and we usually have one or two walk-ons. We really have, rarely have more than 12 guys. And we do have intimate relationships with all of them. And it's something that, that I think we all really miss right now. So, you know, when we text each other or FaceTime each other, we get a big Zoom session tomorrow at five o'clock oh. because I'm going to make sure they get all their schoolwork done. And we're going to treat it like <laughs> they're going away on break and we're going to, you know, say goodbye for the break. Uh, but you, you can really feel how much we miss each other. Um, it, it's a feeling like when you see each other's face pop up on the screen or even a text, you can feel it like we really enjoy communicating with each other and we really truly miss each other. And, you know, I have a, my own group chat, just me and the players separate from the assistants. Not that we hide anything, but it kind of gives them, it's, it's, it's just our little thing. Then we have a big one with everybody, but you know, everybody always hits back on that miss y'all, love y'all. And, and you, you, it's a, it's a feeling. Uh, it's, it's really been, I think something that we will all carry going forward and remember about this time. Yeah, I also heard you say something that really struck a chord with me. He said that people who live their lives for others are true heroes. And maybe this will recenter us on who the real heroes really are, that maybe as a society and as, as a culture, we got a little off base. I, I loved that statement, Coach. And, and I wonder how you express those to your players. You know what, Shannon? This is a great opportunity for us with our players because I say this to them all the time, like when – it's a Christmas night sometimes, and we're in the practice facility. And I say, like, hey, guys, if your family members, girlfriends, mom, dad, anybody is saying, like, you're crazy Christmas night being in there, like, they're right. They're right. <laughs> like, we are crazy. And, and we have a unique passion for this game. Doesn't make us right or better than anybody else. And we always have to take that time to understand. We, we're just basketball players. Sometimes in our society, we all get treated like we're something better than everybody else. And I, we talk about it all the time. And I think our guys get it. You know, we, we try to find opportunities before this happened where we, 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 we look at people and, and we appreciate what they did and really say, you know, your mom and dad that goes to work every day, took care of you, taking care of your brothers and sisters. They're, they're really the stars. Well, this is really showing like what, all right, we're not playing basketball. We're not watching us on TV. That's not hurting anybody. Yeah. But if those first responders or those nurses in the hospital or those doctors weren't there right now, we'd all be in a lot of trouble. They're the people that should be stars in our society. And I think we're all coming to grips with that right now. And I think we're all, I think it's a great perspective for all of us to learn. Yeah, certainly it's, there's, we, we all know, right? How much pain there is out there right now and and the Villanova fans they, they look to you guys they look to you coach Wright as as someone who is um who gives them a lot of guidance not necessarily in their real world but but certainly as as a fan base is concerned what do you want to say to the Villanova fan base before we let you go well thanks Shannon it's it's nice to be able to do that just that um and I think we we talk about this at Villanova in that um we are very blessed and privileged to be a part of this Villanova community. And, and we always know that. And basketball is a small part of it. But if, if you look at all of our Villanovans who are out there, the nurses, the doctors, the, the EMS guys, the firemen, policemen, I mean, and look at what they're all doing. As much as we celebrate all our athletes at Villanova, like they're the people we should celebrate. And, and especially look out for the, the, the people who are sick and, and let's try to help each other the best we can and, and, and really um, support all of those healthcare workers that are taking care of them. That's what we can do as a community right now. We'll definitely be back to hoop soon. Let me, let me do a rapid fire real quick before yeah, I let you, you go. You had to you have ready one for this? Those. You did? You knew it? Something crazy. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> all right. Last book you read. Um, <laughs> Our, our guy, Jim, you're not going to know it, but Villanova's will. Art guide, no, no, no. Jim. Our guy, Jim. Our, 
All right, our guy Jim, I'm gonna check it out. Last song you listened to on the Peloton or not on the Peloton? Uh, uh, Born to Run. On I just did a Springsteen Peloton. I love it. That's awesome. Who was your instructor? Was it Robin? Um, no, no, no. It, it was. It was a guy. It was. A, it was a guy. I go for the music not as much as for the instructor. <laughs> Something you've done over the last few weeks that you've never done before. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of things. Um, uh, laun well, laundry. I'm, I'm doing. You've never done laundry well, before, Coach. But I'm, I'm doing it in a way like for everybody. Like I, I've done my own, but yeah. now like my wife's saying like that's yours. So I'm doing it for everybody. There are some things that do not go in the dryer. Yeah. Just, just be aware <laughs> of that. I have to hang up. I'm getting good at this. Yes. All right. If you could pick up, uh, play a pickup game with one person, living or or, or gone, who would it pick be? Pickup game one on one. Probably Barack Obama. Ah. Oh, yeah. I mean, I one. wouldn't want like Jesus Christ or somebody like that to have to play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My final question: Who stays out later, Jay Wright or or Bill Raftery? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay Wright when he's with Bill Raftery. Because he has to make sure he's taken care of first because before he can go home. Otherwise, Bill Raftery. We, we went out to dinner with you guys one night after a game, and I was going to ride. Well, I told Raft that I wanted to leave early, and he's like, let's just ride over there together. And my answer was like, no, because I'll be ready to go, and, and he'll still want to hang out. But You're you know a wily that veteran. Well. That's a smart move. <laughs> Coach Wright, thank you so much for joining me for One Up, One Down. Great be to safe. see you, Shannon. I hope you and your family stay safe and healthy.